In a final survey of the 1955 Wimbledon, pride of place must go to that great battle between Louise Bruff and Mrs. Flights for the women's crowd. What a memorable comeback for Louise Bruff, who last won the title five years ago. Mrs. Flights, fresh from her triumph over Dolly's heart, found it really tough going against the wily tactics of her rival. Louise, too, nearest the camera, was almost ready to drop when she won that final point to triumph 7586 and gain her fourth Wimbledon crown. The men's single deservedly went to the top seed Tony Trabert, nearer the camera. Watch for that beautiful lob that beat his game challenger, Kurt Nielsen. For the first time since the war, one title was destined to stay at home when we saw the first all-British women's doubles final since 1929. There were some lively rallies. Here are Angela Mortimer and Anne Shilcock, the winning pair, in action. For Gallant, Pat Ward and Shirley Bloomer at the far end, this was the end, 7-5-6-1. And as the Duchess of Kent presented the trophy to the winners, we applauded our first doubles champion since 1936. <laughs>